Today I want to share with you an amazing development that again should not make headline news. But of course it did, thanks to a number of Jewish organizations and organizational leaders who are disconnected from reality and from truly wanting to strengthen the Jewish state of Israel. As you know, online censorship is growing. It's not about being able to respectfully disagree anymore. It's outright shutting down voices and accounts, and it's affecting us as well. The best way to support our video work is to subscribe to our newsletter on pulseofisrael.com and share our videos. If you are already a subscriber, thank you. What's the amazing development? The Jewish National Fund organization, which in Israel is called Kakal, or Karen Kayemet Lisrael, made an executive decision to purchase land in Judea and Samaria in order for Israel to be able to expand existing Jewish communities in Judea and Samaria. That is amazing, right? Instead of allowing our enemies to delegitimize and weaken our presence in our ancestral homeland of Judea and Samaria, which basically emboldens our enemies to uproot and destroy Jewish communities here, to then continue to destroy all of Israel, the JNF will now be helping build our Jewish presence in Judea and Samaria and strengthen the state of Israel in protecting all Israelis. Understand, the JNF Kakal was established in the beginning of the 20th century with one purpose, to purchase land for Jewish settlement in our ancestral and eternal homeland. At the time, the future Jewish homeland not only included all of Israel, Judea, Samaria, and Gaza, but also included what later became the state of Jordan. At the time, JNF Kakal purchased land throughout those areas that was supposed to be given to us as our future state. Yes, today, the Jewish people via JNF Kakal own land in various areas of Jordan. One area we own is the size of a large city right outside of the Jordanian city of As Salt. Not only areas in Jordan, but the JNF Kakal also own lots of land in Judea and Samaria where Arabs live today. The JNF Kakal owns land in Bethlehem in the refugee camp of Dehesha outside of Bethlehem, in Jericho, in Hebron, and many other places where Arabs live and Jews are forbidden to live or even to visit. Why? Because it is all today under the Palestinian Authority. So, what is the problem with Jewish National Fund Kakal purchasing land in Judea and Samaria today? It is not a problem, except for those Jews who are against Jews living in Judea and Samaria because they erroneously believe that settlements are the obstacles to peace. But they are so wrong. As I say time after time after time, settlements are not the obstacle of peace. Our enemies delegitimizing our connection to our homeland, using terror against us, shooting rockets at us, and building terror tunnels to murder innocent Jews and destroy all of Israel, those are the obstacle to peace. Yes, those leaders are silent about that. Settlements are the solution to peace. Settlements are strengthen our hold, kills the motivation of our enemies to destroy us, and we provide jobs and an economic future for the local Arabs who live with us in Judea and Samaria, who are destitute under the Palestinian Authority, which instead spends international aid on terrorists in jail and their families instead of creating jobs, building schools, and hospitals for them. So we are the solution to peace by living in Judea and Samaria. All the Jewish leaders and organizations complaining about this latest Jewish National Fund Kakal decision are part of the problem. They are the obstacle to peace, not Jews living in Judea and Samaria and purchasing land in Judea and Samaria. As an aside, do you know how much land Arabs from Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and other Arab countries around the Middle East, how much they own in Israel, especially up in the Galil? They own lots of Israeli land. Did you ever hear of any Jewish leader of an organization complain about that and make headline news? No. I haven't heard anything about that either of those complaints or headline news. So why is it okay for them that Arabs from foreign countries are allowed to purchase land in Israel, but the Jewish people shouldn't be allowed to purchase land in our eternal and ancestral lands in Judea and Samaria? The hypocrisy screams to high heaven. Personally, I'm ecstatic that we finally have a proud Jewish leadership at the Jewish National Fund Kakal in Israel deciding to purchase land to expand Jewish communities in Judea and Samaria. And do you know how you can help? Well, 
you can help us help the Jewish pioneers in Judea and Samaria, the ones living here and developing the land and local businesses to strengthen our hold. It is so simple and it makes a huge impact. The initiative is called First Fruits. Just check out the link below to see how easily you can be part of this modern miracle, strengthening our hold on our ancestral and eternal homeland to protect Israel and the whole freedom-loving world. Because as I always say, strengthening our hold in Judea and Samaria and the settlements, that is the solution to peace. And just as a note for those who are confused, the Jewish National Fund USA is not the same organization as the Jewish National Fund Kakal in Israel. If you want to help the Jewish National Fund Kakal in Israel strengthen Judea and Samaria, it's not about helping Jewish National Fund USA. That's a totally separate organization. Why? Don't ask me. That's just the reality. This is Avi Abelow signing off for another episode of the Pulse of Israel here in our eternal and ancestral homeland. Thanks for watching. Pulse of Israel, frontline videos from the Holy Land. Support our work by donating today.